everybody. Uh, my name is Hugh Miller. I'm the Chief Information and Technology Officer for the City of San Antonio. And at San Antonio, one of the things we're trying to do is make government work more intuitively. And all of us have experienced uh, problematic times with the government. And there are those that happen quite often. Sometimes some of the things we do, I relate to that kind of poor experience we usually get at a doctor's office. So we have a, uh, a process in San Antonio in dealing with, with residential permits to where you have to go to a facility, a city facility, and so no matter where you are in the 440 square miles of the city, you go to this facility, you meet with people, they give you forms, you have to fill out forms, typically you, you end up um, having to take those forms home and coming back, and you know, it's a, it's a kind of a, a very poor experience with government, and we've all kind of done that. So I have an eight and 10 year old, and they've never experienced the need to use a pay phone. They've never experienced the need to use long distance. And the reason why is because technology has transitioned to a level to where the tools that they use are, are very simplistic and you don't have to worry about toll rates, you don't have to worry about how much change you have to carry, like I did when I was a kid and needing to use a payphone. And so one of the things that we want to try to do is come, come up with a concept to change government in a way to where you're beginning to build a generation of people who don't know the poor experiences that we've had with dealing with government. So build a brand new generation. And so one of the things we, we wanted to do is work with Code for America, who has that concept of becoming a citizen and developing stuff based on what would make sense for us to do to become intuitive. So David's gonna to begin to explain the program that we went through. Thanks, Sam. So that's where I come in. My name is David Leonard, and I'm one of the 2014 Code for America fellows that worked with the city of San Antonio to figure out how government can work more intuitively, the way that citizens expect. This is my team, Amy Mock and Maya Benari, and our city partner, Kevin Goodwin, in San Antonio. Now, we spent a lot of time in the city trying to be San Antonians. We wanted to see city services and city departments through the residents' eyes and understand how they interact with their city government. So we rode along with code enforcement officers, and we saw the work that they do, the important work, every day to try and make San Antonio's neighborhoods better and safer and cleaner. And we applied for building permits, just like thousands of San Antonians do every single month, trying to fix up their home. We found out that they use interfaces like this. This doesn't work for anybody. This is not a good process. And it meant that they didn't know how to get started on their home improvement projects. This is a particularly big problem in a city like San Antonio. It was founded in 1718. It's a long time ago. And its, its neighborhoods have homes with a lot of beautiful, amazing histories. But sadly, along with that comes issues like this, cracked foundations. And across the city, we heard people say, we don't know how to work with the city to get started on projects to fix this. In fact, three in 10 homes in San Antonio are in need of serious repair. And that's a problem. Kalia knows that pain. She told us about her historic home with its bad wiring, cracked walls, dangerous, narrow staircases. Of course, Kalia wanted to fix this. She tried. She hired a contractor and got started on a project, but she didn't know what permit she needed. And in the end, the city couldn't approve any of her work. Kalia spent $30,000 on this project, 30,000, all for nothing. Kalia is not alone. The city has 113 permit applications for residents to pick through and very little explanation for what permit corresponds to what project. In fact, if Kalia wanted to understand what permit she needed, she would need to parse through development codes, zoning patterns, overlay districts, a complicated fee schedule, and on and on and on. It makes sense that she didn't know what permit she needed. There was no system there to help her the way she expected. 
and others are facing the same issue that we heard over and over again. How do we get the permits that we need to start our projects the right way? So we made home base. Home base takes all the difficult decisions and makes them easy. It takes the hard questions and walks homeowners step by step through the process to get the permit they need to start their project. Kalia can tell us she wants to fix her cracked wall by clicking a button. She can tell us where she lives and answer a few simple questions in plain language about the project she wants to do. We'll find the permit she needs and let her apply online at home. She won't have to go down to a city building. She can fill out some simple information, again, super, super simple language, anything she would be able to understand here. And in the end, she can sign her permit online. So she never has to print a piece of paper out and bring it in. With the click of a button, Kalia will be able to submit her permit to the city. And if everything goes the way the city expects, they'll approve it online and send it back to her so she can get her work started the right way and not waste money again. This is what Kalia expects, an experience that works intuitively in a government that understands her and tries to solve her problems. And that's what we're trying to give her. Yeah, most technology that we that, that is successful is built with some intuitive mindset. And so as we look at government, the challenge and the, the challenge from us to everybody is let's look at it stepping back. Like how do we become the user and how do we look at what we do and scrutinize it and make it, make it work better? So that's why we worked with Code for America. The value proposition they have is, is that model. They take a group of people, send them in to become citizens and actually develop something for them using our tools. So thank you.